Beloved leader, beloved supervisors, servants of the Lord, pastors that are accompanying us in this network and helping the network be adequately shepherd. Today, I want to bring a challenge to you. After this day of resurrection and this uh, Passover week, I want us to flip the page and enter a new level with our Lord as a network. And so this is a note and this is a calling to orientate our ministries towards the power of the resurrection. From now on, let's focus our ministry on the power of God, the salvations, the healings, the deliverance, the discipleship, the signs, miracles, and wonders. We don't have any other option. The world is getting so sick. The society is getting so uh, absurd with some of the things they are defending and promoting, sometimes persecuting the name of Jesus and exalting the name of uh, people that are in aberrations and moral uh, uh, impurity. And those are the ones that are popular. So we need to come in the love and the power of Jesus. And our groups need to experience that power. And my friends, you may say, well, um, I, I have been trying. I would long to see that in my group. But uh, I ask the Lord and I don't hear anything from Him. Well, I'm going to encourage you with these words. Acts 4.33, it says that with great power, the apostles continue. They were steadfast in testifying to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. Make the power of the resurrection a focus in your ministry. And God's grace was so powerfully at work in all of them. So become intimate with God so that you know His power, the power of His resurrection. If you cannot hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, maybe that is your problem is it's not like you don't pray, you pray, you ask, but you get nothing. It may be one of these four reasons that you're not hearing the voice of the Holy Spirit. Quench, grieve, resist, or impatience. If you quench the Holy Spirit is with carnality. When we are carnal, self-seeking, superficial, we just pray casual prayers and we say, oh, the Lord didn't answer. Too bad, I don't have power. Oh, so bad. But we keep moving without any change. Quench, quench, we quench the Holy Spirit with our carnality and our superficiality. We can grieve the Holy Spirit through our sin. When we have secret sin, private sin, things that we refuse to repent of, then we grieve the Holy Spirit and He cannot move freely in our ministry. Others resist the Holy Spirit, maybe because they listen, but they don't hear. It's like, uh, or they hear and they don't listen. Uh, maybe the Holy Spirit has been speaking to you, uh, like a little whisper in your ear, but you say, I don't like that word. Oh, that scares me, or that is too risky. I, I cannot do that. That would be different. That would be, I'm not used to that. And we put excuse and our fears many times end up resisting the Holy Spirit. And then the last one is impatience. And here's where probably most of us fail more often. The impatience when we are seeking God. The other day I went to my prayer place and after about 40, 45 minutes, I was, I was done. Basically, I was through. I was ready to come back home, but I realized I didn't get anything. And I was leaving that place kind of empty. And that is risky when the servant of the Lord starts the day without any fuel in the tank, any power in the heart. So I decided I'm going to stay and stay as long as it takes. I had that flexibility, thank God, in time. And so I was able to stay. Uh, and it was about a minute number 100, because I put a timer to see how am I doing and to keep alert, you know, not to waste my time, but to rather really pray. And it's, it was close to minute 100, more than an hour and, and, a, and a half. A ver, let me see. Yeah, more than an hour and a half. When I felt the power of God, 
I receive a Rema word for one of my sons that is sick, and you are praying for him, many of you. And from this mo that moment on, my day was powerful and victorious. So become intimate with God. Do not quench the Spirit. Do not grieve the Spirit. Do not resist the Spirit. And do not be impatient with the Holy Spirit. Live supernaturally until we all begin to see not only miracles, but extraordinary miracles. We have them in our network. From time to time, we see powerful testimonies. We thank God for that. But friends, we need more, more quantity and more quality of that. So no answer, ask the Lord why, and seek Him even more until you get your answer. Yes, this is my challenge to you, beloved leader. Orientate your ministry towards the power of the resurrection. God bless you.